Hey, look, we're dancing around the table and he can't get me. Uh, I'm just going around the table, dude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They, oh, 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 he ran the other way. That's not fair. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Zach Blake here today. Welcome back as we try something new. You guys have been suggesting, like a lot of you guys are like, play Head Horse, play Head Horse. Zach Blake, you gotta play Head Horse. And, um, you know what? Sure. Let's do it. Let's switch it up. You know, the whole channel is about, you know, switching things up, using our imaginations and having fun. So, let's just hang out and, um, let's play this game. So, you guys, um, I think want me to play this because you think it'll scare me, but you know, that's not what I do, and I don't think you come here to watch me get scared. I feel like I'm different in the sense that I'll try to find comedy in things that are scary, and I'll kind of break the game so much that it's not even scary anymore. <laughs> See, my, my, like, whole thing is kind of like, if a game tells me, you know, Duck Blake, go get three apples. I'm like, but what if I take the apple and throw it at you? What are you gonna do? And the game's like, no, 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 no. You're supposed to collect the three apples to beat the game. But I'm like, I have three apples to throw at you. You gonna run? <laughs> so yeah, that's my whole thing. Um, so these pictures are really strange. I, I think I've played this game before, like way back in the day. And I think it was like in one of the knockoff videos because I think this looks a lot like Granny's front room. I don't even know if I remember this in game, but that kind of looks like Granny One's like front of the house, right? But yeah, so I feel like my channel's different in the sense that we're gonna try to find the funny parts in scariness because look at this dog. Like this dog is supposed to be scary. It's supposed to scary. It's supposed to get your heart pumping, make you, I guess, just like run away from it. But it looks like a dog that's like kind of smiling, right? He's like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> like, why is he smiling? I don't even know. So I think we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try to break the game as much as possible and um i guess just have some you know have some fun using our imagination i mean look at this right now he's supposed to be scary but it kind of looks like he's like hey want to play some cards i got cards <laughs> all right so we are in game now um we're gonna get this started up you can select a skin for him whoa this wasn't here when i played it the last time i think so he has a skin where he becomes a rat that changes like the whole game instead of being head horse He becomes like rat man rat man or is he rat boy rat boy or rat man? That is the question But I think we're just gonna go with the normal thing where he has a horse Head on him. Is he a guy with a horse head on his head or is he a horse man? I I guess we will find out. All right, so we are loading up on day one. Oh, wait, no, we have a little cutscene here. We are driving through. We are having fun going through the forest randomly at night. Why do all of the games start like this? Wouldn't you think you would learn, right? Number one, don't go driving in the middle of the forest slash mountains. Is this rocks and mountains? Don't do that by yourself, I guess. All right, so as you can see, we're driving to our pal Gary's house. He's, he lives very far away, but he said, you know what? I have a bunch of snacks, so come over to my house. Oh, and he also cuts down a lot of trees, so darn Gary. Look at him. He keeps knocking down trees in the middle of the road. I keep telling him, hey, dude, stop cutting down trees. So uh, I, I guess we're dealing with this. Are, oh, okay. Why don't we just give Gary a call? No? Okay, or, or we can just, I guess, what am I gonna push the tree out of the way? Oh, hey, hi, you're not Gary. Okay, sure, fine. <laughs> okay, day one, here we go, we're gonna start. I wonder if we can find glitches off the bat. Oh, we got vases and everything too. Okay, so I kind of remember this game and um, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so we got a vase here. The first thing you do is you always grab a vase and you chuck it at the ground. Oh. <laughs> I like how I said that to him so softly. I was like, okay, hold on. Don't break it. Don't break it. Okay. I guess you can't break things. You know what? If we can't break it, it's an indestructible vase we are now calling Victor. Victor the vase will join us on our mission as we go and explore. Um, so yeah, usually we fill this with water. I'm very thirsty. Um, Mr. Headhorse Man, can I have some water? Here, Victor, go down there. No, Victor, don't stay next to me. Go down there. Victor, can I drop Victor down? No, Victor. Victor, you're giving away my... He's just standing there in the doorway. He's like, who keeps throwing vases on the ground? Hey, um, so Mr. Sir, I wanted some water, like, really bad. I'm really thirsty, and usually my vase is full of water, so, um, I need that now. Please, please? Where... He just walked away. He ignored me. You're supposed to even, like, he's not even trying to kill me. He's like, oh, dude, this guy's so whiny. 
Why is he? Why is he always whining? <laughs> no, come back here. I need some water in my vase. Where? Where are you, dude? He just left. He got up and left uh, like for two minutes with me, and he's like, "Nah, I'm not doing this anymore." <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this another vase? Did we find another vase? Hold on. I can't set the vase on the thing. But like we have another one. Oh wait, no, no, no. What if we grab this one as well? Oh, we did. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, well I'm making a lot of noise. I am making so much noise. All right, so we have two vases here, Victor and Valerie. They are lovely vases. Look, Victor is hurt, Valerie. Are you not? Are you not sad? For this is the love of your life, right, Victor and Valerie? They have the same first letter of the names. Therefore, they are destined to be in love. Is that? What if Valerie's like? I don't like him at all. Victor is weird. Victor. Why are you so weird in front of Valerie? Stop laying down. Victor, why do you keep laying down here? Just stand up straight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why? I'm playing with vases in the game right now. Like, where's the guy trying to attack me? I'm literally like, Ugh, now kiss. <laughs> oh, and there's the guy. Does he not care about me? I'm not in like ghost mode or anything. It just seems like he doesn't care what I'm doing. I'm making a lot of noise. Wait, so the door is open. Um, Can I just... Can I just walk on out of here? Or is that is that allowed? All right, I'm just gonna close the door behind me. Um, I guess we win. <laughs> we win! Or maybe not. Um, I'm thinking a little bit about this game. I think I remember the whole outside is locked. So I don't, I don't think we still win, but I feel like we can still discover stuff. Oh, okay, so there's the dog. He is evil. He'll probably give away our position. Oh, jeez. I just rung a bell. Hey, doggy. How about you just let me go? Okay. You know what? I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to keep walking. We'll, we won't stay next to him. Oh, is he running? Oh, no, no, no. He's good. He's good. Where is he running to? Don't tell on me. Don't tattle on me. Come on. It is a beautiful day, though, outside. I am ringing so many bells. The dog is now free. I am not doing anything good. You guys said I'd fail. I, I probably am right now. I'm getting eaten by the dog alive. Victor, you didn't save me at all. You didn't tell me that there were going to be all these people here. Hold on. Oh. Jeez, I went in his head. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, now we've been caught. We have lost Victor. He is now by the front door. Um, I don't even know where you would start in this game. Should I read the book? Oh, I have to do so many things. I have to, like, try to escape via the car or something. Can I, like, drop pictures on the ground? Like, I don't know what to even do here. I'm just a guest. I'm staying here. This is, like, the new hotel, right? Just stay with a dude uh, who has a head as a horse. It's just the most common thing in the world. I have not found anything in this game. How many drawers do I need to open to actually find something? Oh my gosh. No, leave me alone, dude. I like how in reality, like if this is what it looks like, he keeps going like, Haha, I'm gonna beat you. And then he beats me. And then the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I'm just like going through his drawers. And he's like, what are you, what are you doing? You're supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be like, ah, there's a guy with the knife. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Is there a key in here? Is there, do, do, where are all your food? I'm gonna eat your food, all of it. Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, this guy has a giant house. Like, if you think about it, this house is like pretty mansion-like. Uh, I feel like most of these games have uh, pretty giant houses because it would be kind of lame if you were walking around the house and it would, uh, what is it? Be really small. Oh wait, I found something. I got the tool shed. Hey, hey dude, he keeps kissing me really close. I don't like that. How about you stop? All right, I got the tool shed. Key, key, key. Oh. Where is he? I've got a way. All right, so we're walking outside once more. So we have the tool shed key. Oh, dog. Why is dog here? I don't... Okay. Oh, jeez. How is he faster than me? Okay, this game is hard. I have to give you that. I can't even solve a single puzzle. But I feel like... I feel like we're making him the most mad because we don't... Like, we're not scared of him. I feel like if that's the big thing, right? If you were this dude and you were captured somebody and they didn't care... I feel like that would be the most frustrating thing. <laughs> All right, so we just restarted. I'm going to give myself a new character. I am a detective trying to figure out things. And now we are in this house with our new pal, Victor. Victor the Vase, he's just introduced us to everything, explained everything that's going on. So, you know, you can understand. But we're going to be going around trying to figure out everything um, that we can. Um, it seems like the guy always walks to the front door, walks up here and goes into that door. So what we're going to do is walk over there into this one, get the key, 
and break out of here. Oh, it seems like he deviated from his path and he's wanting to attack me. If I sit in the corner, he, he walked through the door. You're not allowed to walk through the door. That's illegal. You know what? Number one rule, all, all laws, it says no walking through doors. So, I mean, he's going to go to jail. <laughs> I always, that's funny because it's like he's doing more illegal things than walking through doors. You know, I've had enough of this guy. I All I want to do is just get out of here. And I think the only place I know that had anything was here. Was it here? No, no, no. I don't think. I think it's over here. But it, he just, he immediately comes for us. And it's like, there's too many variables, I feel like. All right, so we got the tool shed key. It seems like the tool shed key is always in that room. Uh, wait, where is he? He's, I think he, he heard us, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, buddy. Um, I am going to walk into this room and actually, can I hide in here? Oh, I can. I can. I can. Cool. So we're hiding, doing all that we can. Oh, <laughs> dude, he walked through another door. I'm going to, I'm going to tell on you. Jeez, you can't do that. He keeps breaking the law. All right. So, you know what? I have to say, you guys were right. I, um, when it comes to actually solving the puzzles, I am not doing well. I think all I've done is got, what, one key, um, this whole time, and I haven't even gotten to open up the tool shed, but, um, wait, where is he? Why is he already mad? Dude, he's running full speed! Oh, wait, I could run! The whole time, I could run! Oh my gosh, you guys are probably so mad at me. Okay, well, apparently you can't run for long. Um, I'm just gonna grab what seems like a cool battery. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, great. All right. Well, now that I know I can run, this game is probably gonna be so easy. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I have a battery. I think that's gonna go to the car, um, which seems pretty easy now. Okay. Okay. So now we have the car. I guess I found it pretty easily. Okay. So we're gonna open this up. Can I put the battery? Oh wait. I replaced the battery right here. Right. Oh, pool. I said pool instead of cool. You know what? Pool. Yeah, that's the new way to say cool. So I, I just saw that we had the battery. We just need the fan. We need a belt. We're, we're building a car here. Why did he take apart his car? Same thing like Granny. They always... Wait, is he behind me? Yeah, it seems like he's behind... Oh, why Why are they always behind me? Hey, look, we're dancing around the table and he can't get me. Uh, I'm just going around the table, dude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Cause they, oh, whoa, whoa, he ran the other way. That's not fair. Hold on. Whoa, 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 dude. Can I grab this knife? It's stuck. Okay. Um, well, where do I go next? See, now that I know that I'm building a car, I've become a mechanic. You know, I'm just going around like, he called me over, he's like, hey, my car's broken, so I'm just getting a, you know, a radiator fan. You gotta take the radiator fan and put it on there. <laughs> dude, put it in the bathtub. Yeah, well, what, what a, what a dude, right? So we're just gonna go and put the radiator fan back on the car, because the car gets really hot without it. So, um, hey dude, I got your radiator fan. Why did he stop? Um, it's just that your car needs the fan to- Okay, well, you know what? I didn't take off the fan! Why are you mad at me? Alright, so I got the fan here. I think I'm ready to go. So we have fan. All we need is a belt and fuel. This is actually, like, not too hard. I feel like I could do it if I knew where the locations were. So, I mean, we're at two out of four. Um, honestly, not too bad. I just wish I knew of a way to knock him out because he's kind of annoyingly chasing me all the time. Like... Can I stop him with the refrigerator door? Can he? Oh, he can just run through everything. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Come on, I can't run through doors. Look at, he's literally in a door right now. Okay. Well, um, it looks like he caught me for the final time. I'm just gonna, you know, take a nap here. It looks like oh, this is a perfect bed, right? Right? No, it's it's fine. No worries. You're you're not gonna hurt me or anything. No, please. No, no. I think, yeah, I think he got us. There's a saw blade. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I didn't I didn't want to escape anyway. Psh. So yeah, this game is actually pretty interesting. There's a lot to it, but I feel like we got half done. Um, I don't know what else I would need to get the belt and like, I probably need a car key, right? But actually, you know what? The game is pretty fun. And hopefully though, um, I made you laugh. That was like the whole, I guess, idea. You know, that's how we play games. We try to break it. We, we found Victor the vase. You know, we found Valerie the vase. We tried to get them together. But Victor, you know, you crumbled under the pressure, man. <laughs> like, I, I tried to set you guys up and, you know, um, you know, we, we'll get we'll get them next time. We'll get
get him next time. But yeah, hopefully I made you smile. That's all I want to do tomorrow, though. I have a really good idea for what to do in ice cream, so you have to stay tuned. But also, check out the things we did this past week. We're hanging out. You know, we're all, like, quarantined together, but I like the fact that we can all come together. It's kind of like we're all hanging out, playing games, having fun. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video, probably coming up right now. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. So if you're unsubscribed right now, you better click the button. You got five seconds, four, three. Oh, it's going to... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you subscribe whatever you want. Just let's have fun. Let's go, um, like, on to the next videos and just, and just hang out together. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And as always... Peace out, my dudes.